The next reports we'll be looking at are the moving averages reports. Uh, these uh, reports track uh, the performance of a stock over different periods of time, so you can measure its growth. So to access this report, the first thing you'll do, you'll go to the symbols tab, then go down to moving averages. Um, so one of the things you, uh, you do for this one is you type, we type in a specific stock symbol so you can look at their performance. Um, so for this example, we'll look at Nike. Uh, NKE is the symbol for that. So we'll let this go through. I kind of walk you through the report itself. So the first, so you see the company here, the sector that they're in, and then it has the current price of the stock as well as some institutional investment information, hedge funds, and that kind of stuff. Then it show, then from here it shows the day moving average. So that's the the average closing price over a certain period of time that's measured. So for instance, the five day moving average is going to be the average closing price of the last five days. So for the, with, so you have the day moving average uh, columns here. So for instance, you have the current price, and then you have the five day moving average, which measures the closing price over the last five days. And then this column measures the percent change. So this compares the, the current price versus the five day moving average. And if it's in green, that means the current price is higher. So the stock has achieved some growth. Um, and then you have, and then you see the 10 day moving average. You, uh, it's, a little low, it's a little lower than the five day moving average. So the growth is going to be higher so it's so and then 20 day moving average you know it's lower than the 10 day moving average so there's been some growth so the percent change is going to be higher so what you see with this stock with nike is there's been pretty consistent growth over the last like 100 days or so uh from 100 days to the current price ice so that shows some good some strong recent performance so this, this report helps you look at the current price and see how it how that has trended over the last uh, uh recent period and then you have 200 day moving average and then la then you see year to date one year percent five year percent so you can compare that recent performance with the longer term return so overall nike has some has some uh is a, has some strong long-term returns as well as some uh, good recent performance um so then one thing you can do is compare you can type in two different stocks to uh, to look at uh, kind of if you wanted to compare two different stocks uh, in maybe perhaps in the same industry. So, for instance, I'll look at one of Nike's competitors, Under Armour. Maybe you wanted to invest in something that was in the sporting goods um, uh, industry just to look just to see if you thought that was a good investment and wanted to look at two cop top companies. So then you see them compared uh, right next to each other. So you have the current price, institutional investment. Uh, obviously, Nike is a lot you know, has a lot higher price. Uh, and then you then you have the day moving averages right next to each other. So for instance, if with under arm with under armor, um, you start to have so for like the five day and the 10 day moving average, um the the um the percent change is a lot is lower for Under Armour than it is for Nike. Um, but for like the 20 day moving average, um Under Armour's percent change is and is higher. So under Armour has seen fat, seen some uh, some growth over the last uh, 20 days, 50 days, 100 days, more so than Nike. But then you look at this year to date, one year percent, five year percent return, kind of measuring the the current price versus the you know one year like one year ago or five years ago. It's clear that Nike's long term performance is a lot better. So that so uh, this helps you see helps you get the short term and the long term. So if you want to get to a side by side comparison. So looks like Nike, you know, it's a lot more expensive, but it looks like its long term performance is a lot better. So that's something to factor in. And one last thing you can and you can do with this report. So if you wanted to like clear all of these, so maybe you just wanted to look all at all of the stocks as a whole, you could just you could uh, do that and just uh, you wouldn't necessarily have to pick with uh, a couple of stocks that you wanted to look at. So you could get to see you know, certain stocks that you wanted to look at uh, over that entire performance. You can look at the entire market here. Um, you can uh, just to get a look at, at each stock that's it, doc, um, that we have in our database, you have all the same information. But if you wanted to, let's say, search for a specific stock, um, let's say Tesla, just hypothetically speaking, um, then you could search for that specific stock. And then you would see you know, filter, you would say you'd have all the same information, the current price, the day moving averages, the percent return, et cetera, et cetera. So really strong stuff from Tesla here. And then um, and then you could just hit the X button if you wanted to uh, look at all the individual stocks again. Um, and then with here, you can filter based on specific data values. Like, let's say you only wanted to look at uh, stocks above or below a certain price or maybe ones that had a certain only stocks that had a certain day moving average, uh, you could do that. And if you wanted to uh, look, and if you wanted to 
pick and choose which columns you wanted to see, only choose the columns that are most relevant to you, you can uncheck the boxes here. So this day moving average is helpful because it helps you look at, helps you see the current price as well as recent performance over the last, you know, well, one to 200 days, as well as long-term performance. It gives you a, a good comprehensive overview of a stock's performance over the course of a day and helps you pick and choose which stocks you want to look at so you compare, can compare and contrast. This is really helpful and it does help you see give you context for how a stock how a stock is performing again uh, in the short and the long term against its competitors.